Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our comparisons playlist. In previous videos, we have compared between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. We compared between gout and pseudogout. We compared between Duchenne and Becker muscular dystrophy. We compared between iron deficiency anemia and anemia of chronic disease and much more. Today we'll compare between estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen because it causes genesis of the estrus cycle, i.e. the menstrual cycle, the reproductive cycle in animals versus progesterone, progestation, pregnancy, and it's a steroid. Testosterone is also a steroid. Testosterone, progesterone, and estrogen are all steroids. Lipid soluble, that is. Now click the like button, click the subscribe button, and let's get started. Hypothalamus secretes GnRH, which goes to the anterior pituitary and tells the pituitary to make FSH and LH, which stimulates the ovary to make estrogen and progesterone from the granulosa cells. Progesterone is a steroid. It is lipid soluble and the receptor is inside the cell. Genomic action, as we have discussed before. The follicle stimulating hormone stimulates the follicle growth, which makes estrogen. The luteinizing hormone causes ovulation of the follicle and the remaining part of the follicle becomes the luteal body or the corpus luteum, which secretes mainly progesterone. First half of the cycle, estrogen only. Second half of the cycle, progesterone mainly and some estrogen. First half of the cycle, follicle stimulating hormone. Second half of the cycle, luteinizing hormone. Why is the endometrium growing more in the second half of the cycle? That's the effect of progesterone. Progesterone is responsible for this secretory phase. Tons of glands, tons of secretions in the endometrium. The vessels become tortuous. The arteriole becomes spiral. The glands become tortuous. Everything is dense and fluffy and engorged and thick. It is pro-gestation. Progesterone is preparing the uterus for the implantation of the embryo. The first half of the cycle is the land of FSH. Then the LH surge happens around day 14. After that, both FSH and LH decline. The first half of the cycle is the land of estrogen. But the second half of the cycle is the land of progesterone, mainly, and some estrogen. You can download these doozy notes on my website, medicosisperfectionalis.com. I help you understand and pass exams. So what are the functions of progesterone? It sustains the endometrium. What do you mean? It increases the size of the glands, the tortuosity of the vessels, etc. And that's why when progesterone drops, what else is going to happen? The endometrium will slough off and drop as well. If a female is taking progesterone and then stopped suddenly, what's going to happen? Breakthrough bleeding. Why? Because lack of progesterone equals lack of endometrial support and the endometrium will slough off. Also, progesterone is responsible for raising the core body temperature by half a degree in the second half of the cycle. This fact has been used by many apps on the phone that ask the female to measure her body temperature every day and log it into the app. They use an algorithm to predict the day of ovulation. How accurate these apps are is an empirical question, not a foregone conclusion. Now let's compare between estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen comes from the ovary, the placenta, and adipose tissue. Estradiol, estriol, and estrone. Which one is the most potent? Estradiol. Which one is the least potent? Estriol. Which one is in between? Estrone. As for Mr. Progesterone, it's also made by the granulosa cells of the ovary, but not the granulosa cell of the mature follicle, these are the granulosa cells of the corpus luteum. The granulosa cells of the corpus luteum make progesterone, some estrogen, and some inhibin for the negative feedback. To make estrogen, we need two cells in the ovary and two gonadotropins from the pituitary. The two cells are the thicker cells, which make the androgen first, and then you take that androgen and convert it to estrogen by aromatase enzyme. So you need the granulosa cell. Also, estrogen synthesis requires the presence of FSH and LH. LH stimulates the thicker cell, 
Well, FSH simulates the granulosa cell as we have discussed before. But to make progesterone, you need one cell, which is granulosa cell of the corpus luteum, and only one gonadotropin, which is the luteinizing hormone. Functions of progesterone. Does it help us during embryological development? Not really. How about before puberty? Not really. How about at puberty? Oh yeah, now it starts to work. It starts to work once you ovulate. It grows the endometrial glands, making them tortuous, and the endometrial vessels, making them spiral. It makes the cervical mucus thick to protect the embryo from falling, versus estrogen, which made the cervical mucus thin to facilitate the entry of the sperm. Estrogen made the ducts of the breast, but who's going to add SNI to these ducts? Answer, progesterone. So the ducts are made by estrogen, but the SNI or the alveoli of the breast are made by progesterone. Who's going to fill them with milk? Prolactin. Who's going to push the milk to the outside? oxytocin. Progesterone is a big vasodilator. It's probably why during normal pregnancy, blood pressure should decrease a little. Progesterone causes the increased respiratory rate that happens during pregnancy, slight salt and water retention, because if you are similar to the adrenal cortical hormones, you probably cause salt and water retention. I mean, aldosterone did it, cortisol did it, estrogen does it, and progesterone does it too. Don't forget that it increases the body temperature half a degree in the second half of the menstrual cycle. Moreover, progesterone inhibits the contractions of the uterus, which increases the sustainability of the pregnancy. You know what's the opposite of that? Prostaglandins. Prostaglandins tend to contract the uterus and ripen and relax the cervix. Prostaglandins do not sustain pregnancy. They do the opposite. They can terminate the pregnancy. You can learn more about the topic of contraception. You can learn more about normal pregnancy, abnormal pregnancy, human chorionic gonadotropin, human placental lactogen, endometriosis, adenomyosis, gynecological cancers, and much more by downloading my OBGYN high yields course at medical perfectsnetage.com. You can also master kidney physiology by downloading my renal physiology course. To learn more about progesterone pharmacology, not just physiology, as well as that of estrogen, including selective estrogen receptor modulators and selective estrogen receptor degraders, then download my endocrine pharmacology course. If you do not wish to download the courses and instead would rather watch them right here on YouTube, click on the join button below this video and choose the highest tier. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. You can support the channel here or here go to my website to download my premium courses notes and cases be safe stay happy study hard this is medicosis perfect Snellis, where medicine makes perfect sense